Hi crafters, today I'd like to show you how to make these super simple baskets out of uh, chunky wool. My daughter received this toy with uh, this beautiful wool and what they wanted us to do was to stuff it on the inside of some pillows. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not putting that in there. That's such a waste. I've got plenty of white stuffing that can go on the inside of that. We need to make something beautiful out of this. Good morning crafters. I just wanted to say a few words before I show you the tutorial for making these baskets. Um, the one thing I want to tell you is don't be intimidated or scared. Um, even if you're a complete beginner, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to learn this. Um, it's really super simple and essentially there's only three things you need to know. How to make a magic circle, how to do a single crochet stitch, and then how to end it off. Um, if you've got those three things, you can make them. Um, so basically, the, the, these are both the same, made the same way. I just ran out of wool with this one, which is why it's got a little part here, which I, I would have liked to have continued this probably around to there to make it um, look more even. And it's super chunky um, yarn, so when you run out, it really does show. But with this one, I used all of the yarn that I had and it's a it's a little bit different um, in design but you can kind of change things once you learn how and because I made it so tall I made it to to flip over and that looks super cute just like that so in this tutorial I'll show you how to do the magic circle how to do the single cro crochet and then how to end it off, which is super easy as well. Um, but I just wanted to tell you, don't be scared. Um, you can make this basket. I feel like a lot of tutorials don't have enough vis visual aids. So they show you what they're doing with their fingers and um, expect you to be able to follow that without giving you a basis of what are you actually doing. Um, so using this one, for example, I'm not gonna tell you how many stitches to count um, once you get past the first few rows because um, just go by eye. It's a basket, nobody's gonna count your stitches after it's made. As long as it looks good, um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be happy with it. So the first thing you need to do is make a magic circle and you've got your, your loop there. And so as I was showing you in the tutorial, that's later on, um, you see these little V parts? When you're going in the flat section, what you're doing is you're putting your finger through underneath both of those. And then when you start to build up, other people might make their baskets a different way, but I do it where I just put my finger through that side. And I don't increase at all on the way up, which means that I only put one single crochet into each little piece. And I just keep going around. I don't do anything fancy like, you know, bridging the walls or anything like that. I just keep going around in a spiral. Okay, so bearing in mind that these look like little Vs, I'm going to draw in here so we've got a magic circle with our finger through the loop and then we need to make six v's one two three four five six and <clears throat> excuse me at this stage it won't look good you're gonna go oh i've made a mistake or something but if you keep going you'll find that it will start to look like a funny looking snail or you know, start to look like a circle. So once you've got your six singles, we need to increase and increasing is very simple. So all you need to do is when you put your finger between these two Vs, 
you need to put two single crochets in each one and what that's doing is it's allowing the circle to get bigger faster. So we're here and we jump over into this V and we want to put a single crochet and a single crochet both into the same V right there. And then when you go to the next one you just put your finger through the next V and so do the same in all six so you've got one with two in it you want all six with two in it so one two one two one two and one two Missed one. Okay, one, two. All right, so at this stage, it might start to look a little bit more like a circle. And for the third row, I'm going to get you to do the same thing. So, two into each. So, you're here and you're putting your finger in under this one. And we want to one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And so it's starting to look more and more circle like and um, you can keep increasing for as big a basket as you want. You can make it as big as you want to do. Um, you just keep increasing as you go around and say for example you want to make a cat bed you need this base to be a lot larger, so you'd probably want to be about out here, depending on the size of your cat. Um, so just keep increasing. And if you feel like it's too much, put one single one, two. One single one, two. One single one, two. One single one, two. There's really no rules in, in the way that you increase, um, in my mind anyway. Some, purists of crochet who know a lot more than me would maybe say otherwise but trying to keep this simple for you just do it until you think it looks good and it's the right size so as you're going along you've been putting your fingers in here and then say you come to the part where you think that your base is big enough you're happy it's the right size you want to start going up I don't do anything fancy apart from changing the hole that I go in from there to there and I stop increasing so as I said before each time I put my finger in here I only want one crochet coming out and then I go to the next and the next and I just keep going up like a spiral and that will be the most simple way that you can do this and then again I stopped when I ran up out of wool, but you can stop when you think it's tall enough because I could have brought this up to, you know, say yay height, it would have been great, but I bought this wool a long time ago and I only had two balls, um, so this is what I was able to make out of that one. I'm happy, I'm happy with that, it fits some things. <laughs> anyway, uh, so quickly just on to ending. Um, once you get to the last one and you think I want to end it or I've run out of wool, what I do is I put my finger through, I'll just do it here, I put my finger through here and I push the, the tail end all the way through and I pull it all the way through and then I put it into the, the loop that I have my finger in and then I pull that tail back and I wrap it around many times until I'm happy that it's secure. And I, I do show you that in a tutorial later on, but I just thought I'd give you a bit of a verbal explanation on that. Um, it was a bit noisy in my house when I was trying to film um, the making of the basket, so I will try and do a few voiceovers. Um, but yeah, that's that's about as simple as it is. So good luck. I, I really hope you uh, are successful. And um, feel free to message me on Instagram at offgridartist. Um, with the underscores if you have any problems and I'll try and help you through it. Thanks for watching. Hi crafters, so I bought this um, beautiful uh, bowl of wool ages ago and I've, um, I've not made anything out of it yet so I thought today I will show you how to make a basket 
The first thing I need to do is show you how to make a magic circle. Um, using chunky wool, it's no different to you know using thin wool, but it is actually quite easy. Um, to make the basket, we're not going to use any tools or crochet hooks, we're just going to use our fingers. And the same with the, the magic circle. So the first thing we need to do is find the end and wrap it across your hand on a diagonal like that with the end down here. And then take this part, the working end, and wrap it over so you've got a cross on your hand. Turn your hand over and it will naturally make that second line. And then you can just hold that piece firmly underneath. So when you turn it back, what we need to do is we need to lift that up a little bit and grab that first piece of wool and then give it a twist. And once you've got the twist, you can see here that you've still got your straight piece of wool but we've gone under. What you're doing is you're grabbing this piece and pulling it through that twist. And just keep your finger in there and then once you unhook that tail, that's it, you've got your magic circle. So I'll do a separate video for this and I'll also include this in the basket making video. And the reason for having a magic circle is so that when you pull this tail section, once you've got all your stitches on here and you pull it, it makes everything come together in a nice tight little circle and you can enlarge or reduce that as much as you like. Okay to make a basket with such large chunky wool it's really good to have start off with a big magic circle so I'm going to start by putting six uh, crochets in there and I'm just going to take my my finger put it through collect the wool so I have two I've got the working wool that I want to pull through both of those. And then my finger back through to start. So that's one stitch. Back through the hole, collect the wool. Got two on my finger. Put the working wool through those two. That's number two. Pull my finger, pull the working wool through, that's three. Finger in the hole, pull the wool through, and the working wool through both of my loops. So this is the part where I said it won't look good. Um, but as long as you can see those V's on the outside, you can count them. There should be six V's. Then you should have it all right. I just want to fast forward again a little bit further to show you the single crochet again because it can be easier to see when it's in the round. So in this part, you can see that I'm going through the two parts of the V. I'm pulling through the wool, the working end, I've just turned it around a little bit and then I'm pulling through the working loop. I just wanted to show you that again because that's basically what we've been doing the whole way around. So I'm going back through the hole to do it a second time. I've got the two loops over my finger and then I pull the working end through both. And then back to where we were, putting my finger behind the two V's, pulling through the working yarn, and then unraveling it a bit and putting the yarn through my two loops. And that's one single crochet. I'll speed some of these parts up for you, but feel free to go back and watch the video as many times as you need.
At this stage, I decided to tuck in the tail. You just do this by weaving it in and out of the threads and just trying to hide it in there as much as you can. As you can see here, I'm quite happy with the size. It's looking like a circle and I'm about to start going up. Now I'm going to stop going through both of them and just start going through one of them. From this point on, I'll only be doing one single crochet in each loop. As you can see, it's starting to make a spiral upwards now. I've run out of wool, so I'm going to cut this little end bit in half so that when I tie it on, it's not as thick and chunky. Once I've tied the ends, I just cut off the extra bits. Being careful not to undo the knot that I just made, I continue as normal. Here I'm just showing you again what link that I'm using, the inside one of the Vs. Sometimes you'll find that you need to push the working yarn through rather than pull it. It just makes it a little bit easier. Continue until you're happy with the height or you run out of yarn. Here I'm going to show you how to end it. The loop that I normally would have gone through, I push the working wool into, which creates a loop that I push through my other loop. I then pull it all the way out so the whole tail comes out from here. And what that does is it locks that last loop into place. And then from there, I start to wrap it around and around until it's firmly locked in. You can cut off any end bits. Happy crafting everyone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos, um, like, comment and share. And um, I'll be sure to make many more um, crafty tutorials in the future.
this sneaky little end escaped, so I'm just going to tuck it back in there. And there we have it. My finished, not quite finished basket because I ran out of yarn, but anyway, it's super cute, super sturdy, and if I'd had more, I would have kept going.